Tell, tell us about um, the spirit, the vibe of this team right now. Um, there was the 42-point loss in Indianapolis, then the thrilling comeback win, last-second jumper that you hit against the Celtics. Um, Magic was supposed to visit with you guys. And what, what, What's the vibe of this team? What's the mentality of the team going into the game today? Um, kind of a must-win situation. Um, you know, obviously it isn't, doesn't fall on this win in particular or loss in this particular, but in order to respond to what we did, you know, last game, uh, we feel like we have to get a win. Uh-huh. Did you guys have a chance to meet with Magic? I uh, just actually before 30 seconds before I, sit, I met you, Magic was in our locker room sitting there, so I haven't spoke to him okay. or anything, but he's he's here. Yeah. Um, how do you guys perform in wake of all that went on last week? With all the speculation, all the um, noise out there. It's just part of it, mm-hmm. obviously. Um, we're professionals. A lot of guys are still here that they said wouldn't be. So, uh, you know, that's why we're underneath the bridge, and we're going to continue to move forward and try to, you know, get one win at a time. Think about 25, six, 26 games left, and we got to focus on getting a W each one. Yeah, you've been through a lot of different trade done, deadline situations. What, what do you say as one of the voices on this team? What do you say to some of the younger guys whose names were prominently kind of thrown out there? If you have a you know long career in this league, it probably won't be the last time your name is in the trade line. So uh, try to weather the storm, continue working your game, um, stay in the gym, and just look forward to you know each day getting better. Tell us about the day off that Luke gave you guys, and then you subsequently somehow got some guys into the gym. You called some guys up. Take us through that story a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> it's become legendary. After the you know the 80, 82 point loss against Indiana, <laughs> we uh, about seven of us in the room that night. Uh, just chatting, talking, you know, the game wasn't really much about uh, what happened with the loss. It was just, you know, the vibe and the energy of the guys. And the Golden State game come on, uh, the one we lost without LeBron a couple of days before. Mm-hmm. And it was actually kind of uh, time to, like, kind of watch film. So I kind of started to break the game down a little bit, and uh, I got to hear KCP and Brandon talk. And I asked them, I was like, have you ever, have y'all ever talked about this play in particular? And they were like, no, I was like, this is so key and vital to our success is if we understand our mentality and where we think and where we talk on the court, we watch film together, we understand the game better. And then we started to talk from there, then guys started talking trash, and then uh, we started talking about one-on-one challenges. And the next, next thing you know, KCP was like, I'll be in the gym tomorrow at 11 a.m. And Brandon was like, I'll be there. I was like, I'll be there. So started to talk trash, we ended up at the gym the next day, started to play one-on-one, ended up playing four-on-four, and then just kind of went from there. So it started off as a impromptu film session watching the game, and then... Yeah, we just ordered room service one night about 2, 3 in the morning, just talking. And like I said, about seven guys, and it just ended up translating over the next day and just the competitive nature of all of us just wanted to get better and win. Yeah. Uh, let's talk about today's game. What do you see as um, one or two of the concerns or challenges or keys that you guys have to do well against this kind of new look 76ers team? We must take care of the ball. Mm-hmm. You know, they blitzed us last week or five, six games ago when they came to L.A. and uh, on our home court and started out the game. I think they were up like 39 to 15 in the first quarter. So uh, we're going to stand there at their pressure, which is kind of playoff atmosphere, basketball, the way they play, mm-hmm. the way coach has them playing scrappy on defense. We can withstand that, and I think we'll be okay. You've been with a lot of good teams, and then you get thrown into a situation like this. 30th in foul shooting, and 30th right at bottom in turnovers. You being a very feisty point guard, how, how does this happen? On a, on a daily basis, well, you got some pretty good talent. It happens with the, you know, us having, you know, being 30th in every category almost. Uh, I think it's just the inconsistency of, of the lineup changes and people being out of, in and out of rotation you know, due to injuries and suspensions or whatever the case may be. Um, if you don't have consistency, in anything you do, it'll be all over the place, and that's kind of where our season has been. But you know, we're a game or two out of the playoffs right now, looking in, and if we get in, I'm pretty sure no team wants to see us. When we get in. Style of play. Now, when you were with the Celtics, you had all that talent. You still ran the break. You still had the fast break. Why can't the fast break and the secondary break get together here? The reason why our breaks and secondary break can't get together is because we don't, um, we don't get enough stops, consecutive stops, and then we turn the ball over. So if you got to take the ball to, out of the net every time down the court, there's no such thing as a fast break for us anymore. So our, our main focus is getting consistent stops defensively. Even though we won the game the other night, it was just a shootout. We still didn't get you know, consecutive stops in a row, and that's why we took the ball out of bounds every time, and that's why it was a slow break. When you play tonight, 
if you play Simmons in matchups, okay, knowing you, you probably want Simmons. What are you trying to take away? Because this entire game now is in the paint, all the post-ups and everything. Uh, what, what would you try to do? Because you, throughout the years, you will go down the floor on guys. You know, I mean, I was just wondering, you know, how you would handle him tonight. Um, I'll probably try to pressure. You know, it's just like a quarterback sitting in the pocket, sitting back in the pocket without any pressure or any blitzing. So, for me, as a point guard, or teams that play me the same way. Um, I would try to put pressure on him so he can't see the floor as good as he normally does and force him to drive into my bigs, and then that's where the help will come from, from for me. That's good. Just one thing for me. There's a lot of talk about what you guys haven't been this year, but obviously you missed a ton of time. Bronze missed a ton of time. Made a couple of changes in the trade deadline. Sort of what do you see? Do you see like sort of a vision, a structure, a, a formula for this team on how it can win? Even obviously you don't want to do shootouts all the time like Boston, but even in that game, hit 22 threes. It feels like it might be slightly different the way the approach was and maybe prepared at the beginning of the year. It definitely is, but um, at the beginning of the year we talked about our defense being top five uh, at the end of the year. and. Other than these last five or six games, we've been pretty consistent with, with being a top ten defensively in, in pretty much a lot of different categories. So our main focus is, is our identity has to be defense. If we don't do that, then we won't make the playoffs.